Hello everybody, Flick here and welcome to the first part of a playthrough of Fallout New Vegas. This was voted on by my subscribers in a poll with a few other options. It won with about 46% of the vote, something like that. In particular a Nerd Rage playthrough, which is a build I've never played before in this game, although I have played through the entirety of it on 360, including the DLC, once. And I started a PC character when I bought this, the Master Collection, in some Steam sale. Didn't get very far in though, so a lot of the stuff I've only seen the once, particularly the DLC. So although it's not new to me per se, definitely the way I'm going to be playing it is. I coined it as Nerd Rage, even though I doubt we'll be taking the Nerd Rage skill because it's actually garbage. I'm skipping the intro, but if you've never seen Fallout New Vegas, the setup is you are a courier and you are tasked with delivering a innocuous chip, for which you are shot in the head and the chip is stolen and you are awakening here in a hospital and you want to know why you got shot in the head that's that's it all this that's loading by the way is all the DLCs like that for instance which is going to fill my inventory with all manner of crap yes now hopefully the volume level is okay do let me know if it is not subtitles is on I think so I'm not entirely sure why there's no subtitles displaying right now oh there we are for some reason the first line of dialogue did why don't you just relax a second? Get your bearings. Eh, the voice actor might be a bit quiet. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? Can I indeed? My name is not Courier, that's my profession. My name is Flick. And I'm not going to go into detail about what the build is because you're going to see that because through the tutorial you have to balance your stats, pick skills, etc. etc. I'm going to assume a general knowledge of how the newer Fallout games play, but we'll get into it if you don't. I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. In other words, this is character customization time. Thank you. I will increase the speaking volume. It's a little low, I think. I don't really care what I look like because I'm going to get a helmet or something real quick and then it won't matter, so I'm kind of thinking just go with a preset or randomize a few times. Randomize your head. Ugh, I'm going to have to press a yes, no every time. I don't really want to. I'll just stick with that. Who cares? But well, we can change the hair, hair style. I don't want to be a smooth wave. Uh, what have we got here? What stands it? Punked? No, that's very fifth element right there. Pterosaur. No. By the way, I am used to using a 360 controller for this normally. I'm going to give keyboard and mouse a try. I assume it's going to be better. Uh, but I might take some getting used to the, the buttons. Pompadour. That's what I started on, isn't it? Tunnel Snake. Tunnel Snake's real. Clean cut. How delightfully boring. Well, we we're playing Nerd Rage, so I want a nerdy haircut. This might do, actually. Clean cut, you're a nerd. That'll do. And nerds have boring hair colours, so... I'm wanting like a... Well, we could be a ginger nerd, I suppose. Is that just asking for trouble? Sure, let's be a ginger nerd. And we're going to hate the world. And now we have a reason. Sure. Well, I got most of it right anyway. No, you didn't, Doc. Stuff no, you didn't. Okay. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. You seem to be having some ocular problems. Good. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room? Over by that. Hmm. Mouse sensitivity is a little bit Take low. I feel it needs to be Any faster. Are you a bit worried by what I'm doing with my face, Doctor? Right, so first things first, the speaking volume does seem a bit low to me, so on the fly we'll bump that up quite a bit, I think. We'll leave the master volume down. And, oh, the other thing, mouse sensitivity, do we have an option for that? Difficulty easy? No. Normal. Kill cam, uh, hardcore we're not going to be doing because I don't like it. True iron sights, yes. Back. Where is mouse? Ah, ha, ha, ha. Let's bump that up like there. And see how that feels. Mm, yeah, that's more like it. So I'm going to rob the good doctor of basically everything he owns, but I'll wait until we have our stats. Looking good so far. Go ahead and give the bigger tester a try. Hmm, maybe Remember still a bit right quiet, quick, Doc. You, you know what? I'll bump the speaking volume all the way back up. By which I mean one more point. Like all your faculties. 
So this is where we assign our stats. I already basically know what I'm going to be doing with the stats. So we're going to leave strength where it is for now. Perception we're probably going to increase, but first things first, I want to go to Charisma, and we're going to bring that down to 1, because we are not charismatic. We are, however, going to be exceptionally intelligent. Now, I'm going to only put it to 9 rather than 10, because I think as one of my perks, I'm going to take the one which gives you plus 1... Oh, wait, no, is it Perception or Intelligence? when you wear glasses. I think it's actually perception. So you know what? Yeah, we'll go for 10 intelligence. Agility, we might just leave a standard luck. We will bring them by one. We're not going to be very lucky in life. In fact, we're going to bring it down by two because we've not had a good life. That's why we're angry. Agility, will leave. Intelligence, will leave. Charisma, we're, we're not charismatic. We're not going to talk our way out of any situation here. Endurance will probably leave, and I think Perception we can bump up to 9. We'll get our 10th point from wearing glasses. That leaves us with 2 to play with, and we're going to be quite angry, so... 2 more points into Strength. So if we cut to the end here, my normal way of playing Fallout 3 New Vegas is to be a silent sniper that can take the head off a death claw from 2 miles away using a high-powered rifle. That's the way I always play it, and it's also basically similar to how I play Elder Scrolls games. I play as a silent archer that can kill an elf from two miles away with a bow critical hit. This is going to be out of my comfort zone, and I'm actually really looking forward to it as a result. So agility will just leave everything, and then finally let's see our scores. We will get the chance potentially to change these. So yeah, we're very intelligent, we're very perceptive, we're pretty strong, we're pretty sturdy, pretty agile, we have absolutely no charisma, and we are very unlucky. Absolutely. What do you think, Doc? That brain did not make me well, smarter. I your vitals are good. At best it'll make me a Bond villain in a crappy Bond movie. So now we have to do an in-block test. Also, I need to try and see if there's a pair of glasses I can nab in here. So the reason you go through this question and answer with the doc here is to try and determine what right. skills you should take. But I already, again, know which ones word. I'm taking. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Dog. Let's see. Dog. Train. House. <laughs> Burglarize is not a word. Investment. Night. Um, sleep. Bandit. Bandit, we will vaporize because we're sick of their shit. Light. Heavy. Mother. Lover. Jeans. We're gonna be smart. Okay. Now I got a few statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. First one. Conflict just ain't in my nature. That was true at one time, Doc, but no longer. Because now I'm mad. I ain't given oh wait, I just said strongly agree by accident, support. didn't I? Well, also I wasn't listening to what he asked there. Um, I rely on others? No. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. Absolutely not. Nerds like me like to hide. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. Nope, we totally embrace science. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. S now I do. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? A really bad Tell painting, that see. is. A broken chain, a chemical reaction, a shadow in a doorframe, an, an oozing wound, an angry two-headed ant. A chemical reaction. Okay. How about this one? Roadkill. I'm disappointed that there's no roadkill option, so I guess we'll go for Space Age technology. Last. That is two bears doing a high five. Two kung fu bears doing a high five. A bearded man, a mushroom cloud, a head and a pillow. These are all terrible options. A bearded man, sure. Well, that's all she wrote. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if These are going to be entirely incorrect to what I want to take. I bet. Oh, actually, he got two out of three right. I'm genuinely surprised. Also, I apologize for the dog barking. I'm not taking bar because we're not doing anything via talking. So we've got energy weapons. I never use energy or plasma weapons. Never. So this is going to be new to me entirely. Science, because we're playing a nerd. Sneak I usually always take. Nope, I'm going to ignore that. I think I want to take repair or medicine, I think. Or maybe explosives. 
see this third skill, I was thinking about it beforehand as well and I'm still not honestly sure. Might be a good idea because we're probably going to get hurt a lot more if I'm in up close rather. Yeah, we'll take energy weapons, science and medicine as our skills. We're going to get more points to put in this anyway, especially with our high int. So, yes, we are done. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. You got a form. So this is our chance to give our character some special quirks. They're not perks. I think I said perks earlier. That's a bad word for it. I mean quirks. You don't need to pick any at all, and you can pick up to two. So they're usually a positive and a negative, but then there's also Wild Wasteland, which just makes Easter eggs appear, which I really like taking. The other one I want to take is Four Eyes, right? So if we're wearing glasses, we get plus one perception, which would put us at ten. If we're not wearing glasses, it takes one perception away. So we're taking Four Eyes. And I'm not sure what else would really suit... Uh, your melee? No, we're not doing melee. That was the other option for the playthrough, but no. Nerd Rage got voted better. Harder. I have to have near full inventory, otherwise I get negatives. Nah. Hot blooded. When your health drops below 50%, you do 10% more damage, but you also suffer minus two to agility and perception. So that gives you a temper then. That sounds more like the kind of thing we're doing here. I really wanted to take Wild Wasteland though, because of all the weird stuff you can have happen. It's not for the the serious playthrough. I, I want. I'm going to take Wild Wasteland. I can't not. I've had some of the. Uh, Easter eggs appear before and they're very good. All right, I guess that about does it. I'm leaving, Doc. Come with me. I'll see you out. No. Oh, wait, I have to because then you give me my pit boy. I think I can still start stealing stuff though, although it's not stealing stuff. If it's not in red, it is not theft. I mean, it's not necessarily morally... Oh, you can get a laser pistol here. I'm so glad I came this way because I don't think any of the... Oh, right, take all is A. I need to get used to the keyboard buttons. Medical brace. I will take that because I can craft some stuff later. And uh, we'll take. Ah, oh, we can't prepare that. Never mind. We'll take that. What else can I nab from you, Doctor? I don't see any glasses, unfortunately. Ah, let's get our pet boy first. Here, these are yours. So we've got a delivery notes, four stim packs, a very small amount of money. Look, I thought it might help me find a next of kin. But it was just something about a platinum chip. That's very well, important. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a pip boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much use to me now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on too, so the locals don't pick on you for lacking modesty. Don't have to worry about that, Doc. I've got DLC. Thank you, though. Uh, don't mention it. It's we might be angry, but we're not impolite. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out, too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. We'll but do. Try not to get killed anymore. Very funny. No, we're not doing hardcore mode. Although one of the DLC makes hardcore mode largely irrelevant because it removes the thirst mechanic entirely. But anyway, we don't need to worry about that because I'm not playing hardcore mode. I do not like it. They went that way as our first and only quest, but that will not be what we're focusing on this time. We'll take all of that, thanks. And we'll take all of that. We'll take the knife. I like the Doctor, so we're not... I should point out, I'm not going to be going out of my way to be playing a bastard. That's not the point of a nerd rage character in my mind. This is a nerd who's been pushed to the edge and he wants revenge on immoral bullies. So, I'm not going to be joining Caesar's Legions. I'm not going to be deliberately trying to murder everybody. I'm going to do what's morally right, but if anybody gets in my way, they will not live to tell the tale. That's, that's what's going to be happening here. I could have sworn that you could find glasses. Some, would he have glasses in his refrigerator? No, he would not. I could have sworn I found glasses in this guy's house before. It's not the first time I've taken four eyes as a perk. Even though I usually play as a sniper, it sounds counterproductive, but I liked having that kind of like that quirky nature. And I don't see any. He's not wearing any. All right, so Pip-Boy will be tab, right? Oh, hang on. We'll take that. Don't mind me, Doc. I'm just getting my things. 
Pencils, nope. Nope. Oh, I hear another dog barking outside, so that'll probably set my dog off in a second. Uh, oh! Ah ha ha ha! Today's physician and reading glasses. Thank you very much. Right, let's get suited up then. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, well, I should probably read it because it's keyboard buttons, but I'm not gonna. So, I don't know what uh, kind of armor I want to wear, really. I guess light is best for me because higher than that affects your agility. That said, we're going to be getting shot a lot more because I'm not playing a sneaky character. So let's put on lightweight mail, reading glasses so we get the plus two. It's usually plus one, but it's plus two because we're four eyes. That I don't need, so we'll be selling it. That I don't need, to, so we'll be selling it. I'll probably hold on to those two, though. As for weapons... The only weapon I have that I have any skill with is laser pistol, though apparently I have two. Alright, well now we've got an even better one. And what else do we get from the DLC? Sturdy caravan shotgun. That is ridiculously overpowered for the start of the game. Hey, yeah, well, a grenade rifle is ridiculously overpowered. Maybe I should have taken explosives as my other skill, because I do enjoy exploding things. Throwing spears will also be... I keep on wanting to press escape to leave the pit boy, but it's not. It's just tab. Anyway, let's head out. By the way... This is sort of a Patreon-only series, but in a way it's not. I'm trying something new. Normally, a new episode will go live on Saturdays. And these are all the DLCs triggering. I'll let this go while I'm talking. And that episode will be hidden and available only to patrons until Tuesday, when it will be available to everybody. And then a public episode will also go live on Wednesdays. So, whether you support my channel on Patreon or not, you still get two episodes a week. But you get one episode two days early, if you are a Patreon backer. Something new I'm trying. By the way, I have the graphics and whatnot maxed out, however, I don't have any of the mods which make the game prettier or what have you. I'm not really that bothered about that kind of thing. Again, these are all just bloody DLC procking. We'll, we'll have a conversation with Victor, the cowboy robot, because he's a cowboy robot. Howdy, partner! Might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? I need an adult. Don't mention it. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard. Saw what looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. Once they'd run off, I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were. So I hauled you off to the dock right quick. How does this robot hide? Just out of curiosity. Um, I don't need to ask all these things. Can't say that I'm familiar with the rascals. Some of the fine folks in town might be able to help you out with that. Happy trails! Same to you, Victor. You're polite. When I start murdering the wasteland, I'll kill you last. So obviously I do know where all the... Oh, there's one of the other DLCs, thank you. I do want to do the DLCs and I am very interested in doing them early because, as I say, I only did them once and as they were released for the 360 version of New Vegas. So, I don't remember them that well other than quite liking the New Vegas DLCs compared to Fallout 3s. So, I, I think they start at level... 10? Level 15? You definitely can't go straight away because you get wrecked there's a, a soft level requirement so I can't do them straight away but I, I'll look up what the earliest level is you can and then go out of my way to make sure I do hello easy Pete howdy what can easy Pete do for you what can't he with a name like that the one in the fancy suit seemed to be calling the shots yes Chandler Chandler from friends was that his name other folks in town might know more Matthew Perry of advice though if you ever catch up with him watch out the man's got cold eyes like a snake. Can't be trusted, I'd say. Me too. I don't care why you're cold easy, but actually I kind of do. Was a prospector until I decided to settle here to get away from the NCO. All right. Easy Pete, you talk too slowly. By the way, I'm not going to be letting every single bit of dialogue play because there's too much of it. And I don't want this to be a 120 hour playthrough. So I will fast forward occasionally, but when there's important stuff, I'll let it play. So I don't need to know about you doing that. What do you know about Victor? The machine? harmless no matter what Trudy says she thinks it's hiding something but I think it's just a broken down relic with no place to be Trudy is an astute woman keep your gun handy if you go poking around some of the abandoned places around here like the schoolhouse critters move in there sometimes 
Thank you for the warning. I do have a laser gun though, so hang on, yeah. So let's put that away. And what is ah, there's third person. I don't like third person, but I was just curious what the button was. It's F on the keyboard. Well that's good to know anyway. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry. She won't bite unless I tell her to. Tell her to, I dare you. Uh, so this is the option to do a tutorial. I think you still have to do the first bit regardless, but then you get the choice. I might still do it because you get some money for doing it. Hmm. It'll give me a chance to get used to vats on the keyboard as well. Anyway. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet they me did outside, to me, behind the saloon. Sonny. They did to me. So I'm going to do something slightly immoral here. I'm going to make sure I'm hidden. And I'm going to steal that, because I might need it. Alright, let's follow her out. Oh, she gives us a crappy rifle, doesn't she? It's actually, well, I call it crappy, it's very nearly broken. As a starting weapon, I quite like it. Where, where is Victor going? He's going up to where I was buried. I didn't actually know he did that, I thought he left straight away. I'm going to actually go see what he does after this. Now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Take this and try to hit a couple of them. Yeah, I've got a laser gun. Oh, I don't have a laser gun anymore. Okay. Uh, my mouse sensitivity is actually a little too high. <laughs> Can I use bats for that's this? Right Look down the site. Yeah, see, that's it being a little bit dodgy. Try crouching down and staying still. It'll help your aim. Thank you for that. Nice shot. Well, that's a start. Yeah, ignore the ten know, times I missed prior. Uh, is, I'm rusty. Bottles. Tell you what, I gotta go chase geckos away from our water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? End tutorial. See, I don't really want to do the tutorial, but you get stuff for helping her, Tell and me. I think if you don't help her, her, her dog gets destroyed. killed, and I don't want that to happen, so I'm going to help her. That said, though, I'm not using this. I'm using a badass laser gun, although let's check the damage here. DPS is 25 against DPS of 9. Yeah, I'm using the... Oh, again, I'm, I'm, it's going to take a while for me to get used to not pressing escape to leave a menu, and I, I treat the Pip-Boy as a menu. But anyway, we're going to go pick on some geckos. And I imagine we won't do much more in this inaugural part. However, I hope you're looking forward to it. My general idea of this game is just to play as a really angry nerd. Not necessarily to take the perk that has the same name because it honestly isn't very good. But we're mad at the world and we're not going to take it anymore. I usually play as a stealthy assassin. It's not going to be the case. And I hope you're going to enjoy it. We're going to try and maybe see some alternative solutions to quests to how I would normally do it. I'm not going to try and rely on pickpocketing. Eh, sorry, not pickpocketing. Lock picking. I'm not going to upgrade the skills, so we're not going to get past anything other than a very easy tier of lock. And being a high intelligence character also unlocks special dialogue options. I know that for a fact. As it happens, also playing a low intelligence character can unlock some hilarious dialogue, but... I was only going to do low intelligence on the other build I pitched, which was a melee build, because I've never played a, a melee one before. Got some geckos to clear out. I'm going to walk up to them and shoot them with are. my laser gun. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than yeah, I don't. I know. No, I'm not going to sneak. I'm going to pull out my laser gun and I'm going to shoot them. I'm not a sneaking character, Sonny. This is not how we're going to be doing things. Poor little fellas are adorable. Wait, how do I vats? No, how do I, how do I vats though? Oh, V. There we go, that's what I'm looking for. Attack, cancel, accept. So we want to finish off you with a shot to your face and then come back over here and shoot you multiple times in the face. Oh, I look very handsome now. I'm a dashing nerd. Dashing ginger nerd. Sunny, where did you go? Oh yeah, you were really helpful. Thanks so much. See? You're getting the hang of it. There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. I'll come. Shouldn't take more than a couple minutes. You save a character doing this as well, not just the come dog. Yeah, I'm sure you'll just stand there and let me do it again. Also, I should be... Wait, why is shift toggle... Oh yeah, you can't really sprint in this, can you? 
So, shift is walking. <laughs> yeah, it's good to know that I crippled that gecko's head. Hey, she gave me a bunch more ammo. I'm not going to use it because it's not the type of gun I'm using. If I run out of... Oh, that's a lot of... If I run out of laser ammunition... Hey, took them out nice and easy. Where are you going? You do move faster without your weapon drawn, though. Yeah, if I run out of weapon ammunition for my laser weaponry, one of the ones that a DLC is giving me is OP, that that caravan shotgun or whatever it's called, caravan rifle. I'll fall back on that only if I have to. Oh, there's the person getting attacked. We'll save you. Now give us all your money. What, there's more? Howdy. Howdy. Holy moly. If you hadn't come here like you done, I'd be a god. Like I did. Sure. I came up here to draw water, but here. Oh, so you look like you look like Kess from Voyager. So we got some good reputation for saving her. You're welcome, Kess. That's right, I'm gonna bring out all the nerdy references now because we're playing a nerd. And yes, I have seen the clip of Homer Simpson's showing nerd. Thank you, it's one of my favourites. Now that was some good work. Even got a little exciting there at the end. Here's a little spending money for the trouble. One more thing I wanted That's to not show bad. you. Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? Yeah, I suppose so. All right then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some Xander root and a Brock flower. Let me think now. I know I've seen Brock flowers growing up. At yeah, the yeah, yeah. Bring I know, I know. I do actually want to go to the graveyard to see if. Victor is still there. So that is fine by me. Is there really not a sprint? I mean, it has been a while. Is this my top speed? God, I think it is. I wonder if there's a mod to add a sprint button. Instead of a walk even slower button. Which is stupid. Because you move real slow. I'll look into that. We're at 27 minutes. I didn't want this one to run on too long. So yeah, everyone will be able to see the next episode on Wednesday, and then if you're not a patron, you'll have to wait until Tuesday to see the next. But if you are a patron, you will see it on Saturday, part three. Where is the graveyard? Is that the graveyard up there? Oh yes it is, it's miles away. Damn you lack of a sprint bun. And the schoolhouse, I should have went to the schoolhouse, schoolhouse first, it's over there. I can get that on the way back though. Huh. I genuinely didn't know that Easy Pete ever moved from his chair. Weird. So also awaiting us in the graveyard will be some... What were they called again? The bloat flies? Mutated bees, essentially. I think we'll clear out the graveyard. That's... Oh, something's seen me. Clear out the graveyard this time. Oh, hello. And then we'll pick that up. Oh. Pick it up next time, go to the schoolhouse. Grr, I'm angry. I also just noticed I don't have a lot of ammunition. Oh, there, I might be able to get more in the Good Springs shop, so I'll need to check that on the way back as well. I am burning through all my ammunition though, and against bloat flies, I don't actually want to use that. 38. I mean, the varmint rifles. Okay. It's the garbage weapon I have, so it'll do. Wow. It does such bad damage. I don't see Victor up here. Hmm, maybe he just comes up here to pass by. Get used to seeing you take a sip from your trusty canteen an awful lot. I really wish it wouldn't do that unless you're playing hard mode. One of these graves is mine. It's a place to show the kids. I do have a habit of relying on iron sights more than vats, I should point out. Even though it's not true aim. You are horrible looking. 27%, that's why I don't do it. Now let's exit, let's crouch and let's try that. Wow. Sure. You do reload quicker in vats though. 
Here we are. There's my grave! So this is where you get shot at the start. By the man in the checkered suit. Yeah, I guess Victor must head down there where all the nasties are. So that you can't follow him. Interesting, interesting. Right, so the... I keep on holding shift, wanting to run faster. Oh, forgot about that. We'll take our uh, limited edition snow globe, thank you. I don't remember where all those are, incidentally, so don't expect me to get them all. And we don't want that. We want that. Brock Flower. There we go. One out of two. I hope you're going to enjoy this new series. I always ask this in the first part of uh, a brand new series on the channel. Please show your support on this part more than any other if you're not normally the type to, you know, leave comments, leave likes, etc. And I hope we're going to have some fun with this. Let the nerd rage of the wasteland commence. See you next time. Ta-ta. For now.